Hi there, I'm just sharing a quick tutorial of how I took this hardback book and made it into an ATC folio holder. Um, it was a pretty simple process and had a great look. I took this um, covered in old papers using uh, decoupage and then went over the top of it with a brayer and this metallic paint from Folk Art. Um, and just very imperfectly just went over the top. Then I added, flipped it over, added gesso, and then layered up some, um, some papers, kind of going over it with the gesso again. Some of the areas I left untouched. Um, I decided to grab um, like a soil colored ink from Ranger and ink the edges of the outside. Um, then I took my mists, walnut ink, and um, some woven burlap, tattered angels, and I sprayed kind of randomly throughout, also used the brayer all over it, and a little bit more paint, the metallic paint. You can see how random it is there. It kind of gives a nice distressed look that I was after. I also then took the archival ink, inked the edges. You can see it's getting darker on the edges, again, adding to the distressed. And then I took my cube from 100 uh, proof stamps. It's got four sides, and I stamped this woman, um, the different faces, kind of throughout in a few different places. It adds some interest, I think. This cute little gnome stamp I stamped onto a library card, just cut in sort of a banner piece and added it to the folio. And then I also added the little girl with yarn, the little fairy knitting with yarn. And I adhered all these. I fussy cut the little yarn girl and um, kind of adhered them at random. And then painted the little gnomes with watercolor for a kind of a touch of color. And then the dress of the little fairy that's knitting. It was pretty simple. Um, to really attach this, I used a crocodile on the one side, but couldn't do it on this other, and it was poked with scissors. Um, I don't have the big bite. So I just poked it with scissors, fed twine through twice to make sure it adhered to the Tim Holtz um, binder clip, nice and snug, and then did that on the other side, attaching them all on the underside. You can kind of see the different layers. And then in the front, I just tied all the twine in a random little bow, and I really like the look. Also, the hardback cover looks really neat. I took some fi uh, ATC folios from Seven Gypsies and this Tim Holtz um, punch, punched holes in them, and now they are ready to make ATCs and keep in this nice, neat little folio. I know it probably would be better with some bigger, uh, a smaller book, but this is what I had for now, and that's what worked.